My name is Rudy Lyon, and I work for Center Rock Incorporated. And Center Rock is based in Berlin, Pennsylvania. We're a relatively small company. The industry that we serve is, is hard rock drilling. So this involves drilling holes for large foundations uh, that you might see holding up a bridge, large buildings. Uh, we drill holes for oil and gas. So anytime a hole needs to be drilled in the ground that's in hard rock, that's, that's where our products come in. We began leveraging the power of SolidWorks when I came on board in terms of trying to organize our models, to have relational models that are scalable, and as a result, we've been able to uh, probably quadruple the size of our product portfolio. We do a lot of in-context assembly work, where we, uh, it's 2D plane work, but we create a lot of relationships between lines and sketches amongst multiple parts in the context of an assembly. We might get a request from a customer to tweak a product a little bit. Knowing this, we have built a lot of solid models that are, are very configurable. And the process of coming up with a new design is literally a matter of a couple of mouse clicks and it's done. So uh, in that sense, SolidWorks has been very beneficial. Brandon Fisher, the president of our company, heard on the news that the statements were that they felt the miners wouldn't get out until Christmas. Um, he said that's nuts because we know we can drill a hole faster than that. So we made connections with people in Chile, um, put together a plan for what we proposed, which was step one, enlarge that five and a half inch hole to 12 inches. Step two, enlarge the 12 inch hole to 26 inches and therefore large enough to put the rescue capsule through. At about one third of the total depth, or let's say 200 meters, we ran into a problem. The, the drill stopped working. And when they pulled the drill string up out of the hole, we realized that the front end of the bit was missing. There had been speculation at the time that we had hit a piece of, of iron in the mine. Remember, we're trying to zigzag our way around existing mine workings to hit this target that was underneath them. Not being convinced that that was the case, we started with a fairly in-depth analysis of the bit just to make sure that our stress levels were acceptable. So we used uh, SolidWorks nonlinear FEA to actually simulate the, the impact of the piston on the bit and the reaction of the bit into the rock. And we satisfied ourselves that, that, that there wasn't an inherent problem there. I think the fact that the, the SolidWorks CAD software integrates so seamlessly with simulation just made that, that whole process go snap, snap. Um, it also gave us the confidence up front to know that we could, we could get it done. The next step was to open this hole from 12 to 26. One of the concerns we had was whether the airflow going through our drill would split appropriately. So we set up a simulation using uh, flow simulation. Verified that we had to tweak, the, tweak our design a little bit to get more of the airflow to bias towards the middle. Both of those are examples of how SolidWorks was used to um, perhaps incre increase the chances of us having a successful rescue of the miners. From a business standpoint, I think I've, I've created a lot of technology for the drilling industry that uh, has, has made people money, maybe made their livelihoods better, uh, in some cases uh, in extreme saved lives. And I feel that I've, I've put my passion into the business and I think SolidWorks helps me do that too. It's, a, it's an enabler.